Yo guys, welcome back in another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with Bitcoin NFTs, how you can buy them and sell them, and pretty much everything we need to do to get started. So first step, you need to choose the best wallet for yourself. One of these wallets I can recommend is Unisat, Hyro, or Xverse wallet. I think the best, in my opinion, is Unisat. In here, you can qualify for the airdrop in the future, so you have nothing to lose. You can just basically use this wallet as you go and buy sell the NFTs, buy BRC20 tokens, and you earn points. Pretty much similar to to blur when you earn points on the platform so it might happen as well on the unisat platform so first you'll need to download this from google chrome uh, add it to your browser once you click it you can click add to chrome then you'll need to click on create new wallet put your password in click continue and now you'll need to save your seed phrase so make sure you guys save it somewhere in a secure place so no one can see it so in here if you want to trade ordinals and brc20 tokens your choice will be taproot so basically just click on taproot and once you see the tick mark there just click on to continue so now you have very simple overview of this wallet you have your bitcoin balance your wallet address you can also receive where you click on it you can copy your bitcoin address you can also send bitcoin so you can click on send then you put your recipient address and then you put the amount that you want to send and also set up the fee so that's basically simple as it is and also you can buy bitcoin within the wallet and this is really important because we chose taproot for the wallet you can either receive bitcoin and also ordinal the second wallet is hyro so basically go to website click on the install and then you can select between the browser extension or the desktop app i'm gonna install the extension now we'll need to add it to your browser add the extension and now the installation is very simple you basically create new wallet you will need to copy your seed phrase then set up some strong password now you can see you have this cool introduction where you basically you have your steps that you need to take so you can either add funds you can get a bitcoin or stx you can explore different apps and buy nfts and then really important if you're using hyro wallet you don't do that the same what you did um for unisat wallet where you can send everything to one address in here you will need to select different address so for example if you are buying nfts and if you want the nfts to be sent to different address you will need to select the ordinal inscription so for the higher wallet it will be the ordinal inscription if you want to select send bitcoin to this wallet address you will need to select bitcoin for the express wallet is very similar to hyro you basically go to the official website download the extension for the chrome add it to chrome then add the extension so setting up the account is very simple like the previous ones you just need to accept the terms and then you can back up now or back up later. So just set up the strong password. And now similarly to Hyro, if you for example want to receive Bitcoin, you'll need to click on the receive button and then copy your Bitcoin address. And if you want to receive ordinals or BRC20 tokens, just copy the second address to send your ordinals or BRC20 tokens to this address. It might sound a little bit complicated at the beginning when you don't get used to it, but when you're going to use it the first time, it's going to be very simple. So now the next step, you'll need to fund your wallet. So either if you're funding Unisat wallet, Hyro wallet or Xverse wallet, everything works the same way. You basically copy your Bitcoin address. And if you use Xverse wallet, just click on receive and copy your Bitcoin address. Do not send Bitcoin to this second address which is only for ordinals or bitcoin 20 tokens and the same goes for the higher wallet now one of the best marketplaces you can use when you trade bitcoin nfts is magic eden they started very early only for solana then they transmitted into ethereum and polygon so now you can use the bitcoin app for ordinals so you can trade your ordinals on this marketplace and i would stick to this one because it's already proven they've proven in the past that they're capable of handling a lot of different transactions so once you connect your wallet in there you can go to any collections that you really want like for example bitcoin bear club you can see the floor price the total volume so 70 or bitcoin traded and this collection minted recently you can also see people are buying constantly these nfts so there's a lot of volume you want to stick to, to marketplaces that they have a lot of users and there's a lot of money flowing from person to person you want to trade on the marketplace with the most users so essentially if you click on activity you can see a lot of people are trading every few minutes we have couple sales so you can see this person bought this bear for 0.009 BTC. So there's definitely money to be made in the ecosystem if you're gonna get early to these Bitcoin projects. If you fail whitelist, you definitely can make some money. If you minted this for very, very cheap or if you mint some of this collection for free, you can make quite a lot of money selling Bitcoin NFTs. So definitely this is a time to get started with and this is really time to educate yourself right now not later when the bull run is gonna come and when we're gonna see the bull run with bitcoin nfts like we saw two years ago with ethereum nfts so definitely stick to bitcoin nfts right now this is my opinion you don't have to listen to me this is not a financial advice but i'm just telling you what i'm doing at the moment so i think you should focus on this so if you click on one of these birds for example once you have your funds in your wallet so just for the sake of this video i'm gonna just disconnect my wallet 
and I'm going to connect wallet. So you can select Xverse wallet, Unisat wallet or Hyro wallet. So just connect my Unisat wallet. And once you do that, with a simple click of the button, you just put your password in there. But before you're going to buy your first NFT, you can click on buy now and you'll need to confirm this transaction to prepare your wallet to trade NFTs. Once you do that, I'm going to do it for the sake of this video. You can click on the sign button. And now I'm not going to finalize this because I don't have enough funds in this wallet. But basically, you can buy it once you finalize this process. And then you can also see the details of about this so you can see the inscription id you can also see the content you have the link to it you can also see the transaction genesis you can click on the mempool and basically it's how it works it's simple as it is and scrolling down below you can see also the trading history of this particular nft you can essentially see how many times people were buying and selling this specific trade so you can also differentiate whether this trade has some value if you see any gold elements it might be very valuable if you're holding this nft you might set it for much more higher than the floor nft so definitely try to differentiate these trades and different strategies when you're trading when you're buying and selling nfts it might help you in the long run and similarly when you want to sell nfts you'll need to go to your items and then list your nft for sale you set up the price and list it for sale so in magic Eden, you can filter on different time frames and for example if we select last 30 days you see that bitcoin frog was trending over 370 bitcoin traded and the floor for it is 0.07 and if you want to convert the bitcoin frog floor to ethereum you can see that one one bitcoin frog is equivalent to one ethereum so quite a lot of money if you're gonna get early to some of these projects so definitely stay on top of that and make sure you stick to my channel guys because in next videos i'm gonna be covering some bitcoin projects so definitely don't want to miss out on this and maybe i'm gonna be giving away some whitelist spots for the new upcoming projects so you definitely want to get into those because they might be very profitable in a short time and maybe in the long run also other marketplaces that you can use is for example ordinal's wallet and that was one of the first wallets on bitcoin when i was covering and making videos a few months ago so essentially they already did an airdrop but they're gonna be launching a one more airdrop um i might cover this in our next upcoming video and i'm gonna be showing you what you have to do you can also trade your nfts and brc 20 tokens and also sns you have also really good marketplaces like gamma for example and they are really good but i would just stick to magic eden because they prove in the past that they are really good in what they're doing but personally i trade my bitcoin nfts using magic eden and if you click on some of these nfts you might notice that they look very cool they give me the og vibe of early eve days they have different attributes and they look just dope so i just encourage you guys to just start exploring into bitcoin ordinals because it might be the great opportunity for huge gains so you definitely want to educate yourself right now not later when the bull run will start and in my discord you can find different resources on bitcoin ordinals also you can find the airdrop farming guides so definitely join there because you're definitely gonna find something for yourself we are discussing different btc ordinals and also if projects and the discord is completely free so you definitely want to join and try to find something for yourself and if you guys think the video was useful just hit the like button for the youtube algorithm comment down below what think about this video and follow me on twitter and i'll see you in the next one